हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एडोटैप आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर द एग्जाम्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द फाइनेंस सीरीज वेर इन वील बी सॉल्विंग फाइव एम सी क्यूज डेली ऑन डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स सो टूडे वील बी सॉल्विंग फाइव एम सी क्यूज ऑन ऑल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज ऑफ फाइनेंस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन वी एट एडोटैप हैव अ वेरी गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू दैट वी हैव ब्रॉड अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव गाइड बुक फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी and sebi grade a as well in this guide book you will get to know every precious thing which would save you time and energy about the role of rbi in indian economy the hierarchy which is followed in rbi when you join as grade b officer the roles which are performed by the rbi manager the different cutoffs which are prevailing the exam pattern the detailed syllabus of the exam the various sources which you should follow and not just that you can also get to know what is the training process once you get selected as an rbi grade b officer and let me tell you all these things consume a lot of time and we at edutap are providing you this guide book at free of cost which you can download from the description box likewise we have also got a comprehensive guide book for sebi grade a as well now before starting the session if you are new to our youtube channel i request you to press the bell icon to get the latest updates and join our telegram channel for receiving the pdfs of the session now without wasting time let's move ahead and solve the mcqs now this alternative source of finance is also relevant for rbi grade b and sebi grade a theek hai this we need not cover this chapter in depth but a basic understanding would help us to solve all the questions easily so now the first question says that abc limited purchase purchases a milling machine from xyz limited and leases it back to xyz limited this is an example of which type of alternative finance so ek to samajh aa gaya ki ye question kiske bare mein baat kariye leasing ke bare mein leasing kya hai leasing is an agreement between the leaser and the leasee wherein the leasee would be using the equipment or service provided by the leaser for a certain period of time to question kya kehti hai ki abc limited ek milling machine kharidta hai xyz से एंड इट लीसेस इट बैक टू एक्स वाई जेड लिमिटेड अगेन सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ लीसिंग इज दिस नोन एज द करेंट द करेक्ट आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी विच इज सेल एंड लीज बैक नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सेल एंड लीज बैक सी सेल एंड लीज बैक कोई कंपनी क्यों करती है इन दिस केस द एक्स वाई जेड लिमिटेड वॉज इन नीड्स ऑफ फंड so what is the what it does is it sells its machine to abc theek hai apni machine ko abc ko sell kar deti hai jisse iski short term cash requirements to manage ho gayi now it still wants to use the machine so now what it does is it takes lease of the machine from abc limited again so this type of agreement where there is a purchase which is done by the buyer and the buyer leases it back to the original seller which he from whom he had bought the asset is known as sale and lease back so what happens see ye seller yahan pe initially kon tha xyz limited usne kya kar diya apni machine bech di aur now kisko becha he sell he sold the machine to abc limited now after the purchasal process abc becomes the new owner hai na new owner ban jata hai abc and kyunki ab xyz ko ye machine fir use karni thi to they lease it back so now xyz kya ban jata hai he becomes the leasee initially he was the owner of the asset and after selling it to the abc limited company and leasing it back xyz becomes the leasee so what and why do people do this people do this because to meet their short term cash requirements theek hai short term cash requirements ko meet karne ke liye log is leasing option ko 
यूज करते हैं ठीक है सो नाउ द ए बी सी लिमिटेड इज द लीसर बिकॉज ही इज लीसिंग आउट एंड एक्स वाई जेड इज द ली सी सो हु इज द लीसर एंड द ली सी इन द एग्रीमेंट यू आर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ लीसिंग ऑप्शन विच आर गिविन हियर वॉट इज अ फिनांशियल लीज फिनांशियल लीज इज नथिंग बट अ लॉन्ग टर्म लीज ठीक है लेट से हंड्रेड ईयर्स के आसपास इस केस में क्या होता है ना ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ लीसिंग द एसेट इज स्टिल ओन्ड बाई द लीजर बट एट द एंड ऑफ मेच्योरिटी पीरियड द एसेट इज ट्रांसफर्ड विच मीन्स द ओनरशिप ऑफ द एसेट इज ट्रांसफर टू द लीसी द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज द ऑपरेशनल लीज द ऑपरेशनल लीज इज नथिंग बट अ शॉर्ट टर्म लीज जहाँ पे द लीसी हैज टू रिटर्न बैक द एसेट जब लीज पीरियड खत्म हो जाता है किसको लीजर को वॉट इज लिवरेज लीज सी लिवरेज लीज में देर आर थ्री पार्टीज इन्वॉल्व ठीक है देर इज अर देर इज असी एंड देर इज अ लेंडर इन दो केसेज वेन द लीसर वॉन्ट्स टू बाई एन एसेट बट ही डज नॉट हैव एडिकुएट फंड वॉट ही डज इज ही गोज टू द लेंडर लेंडर कुछ भी हो सकता है एक बैंक मान लो कोई जैसे बहुत महंगी इक्विपमेंट है मान लो दस करोड़ की अब उसको ये इक्विपमेंट लेना है बट उसके पास सफिशियंट फंड्स नहीं है तो व्हाट डज द लीसर डू ही गोज टू द लेंडर ही फिनांस हिज टेन क्रोस एंड नाउ ये जो और उसके बाद जब उसने ये एसेट को एक्वायर कर लिया देन ही लीस इट आउट टू द लीसी एंड इन दिस केस द लीसर is just having an equity jaisa proportion and lender has the major stake i hope you understood what are the different types of lease now let's move ahead the question says that dash bears the risk of obsolence in case of a operating lease it is it leaser or is it the leasee or is it the lender or option d says is it the leaser and leasee together now the correct option to this question is option a leaser now what is an operating lease as i said you in the previous slide that operating lease is a short term lease theek hai short term lease jaise 5 saal 3 saal theek hai in this case the asset is transferred back to the leaser वंस द लीसिंग पीरियड इज ओवर तो विच मीन्स किसके पास रह गई एसेट की राइट्स ओनरशिप इट इज़ विद द लीजर तो डेप्रिसिएशन का इफेक्ट किस पे होगा ऑप्सोलेंस क्या है द रिस्क ऑफ ऑप्सोलेंस वुड बी बी वुड बी बियर्ड बाई द ओनर एंड हु इज द ओनर इन केस ऑफ एन ऑपरेशनल लीज इट इज द लीसर सो द राइट ऑप्शन इज लीसर Now, who is Lisi? Lisi is the person who is be who will be using the asset. So, in case of an operational lease, what did I tell you? The Lisi would be returning back. So, which means he is not owning the asset. So, which means he will not bear the risk of obsolence. And operational lease me lender hai kya lender to nahi hai. So, this option is ruled out. And as I said, the ownership goes to Lisi. Option D is also. ruled out theek hai this is what we have learned about operational lease and a very important thing which you need to remember that operational leases are cancelable leases they can be cancelled theek hai agar the lease feels ki nahi i am done with using he can cancel the lease agreement theek hai moving ahead the question 3 says that the type of factoring in which the factor collects back the amount paid by him to the seller in case of non payment of bills to the seller is known as first option is factor by recourse second is non recourse factoring third is compounding fourth is discounting and e is all of the above the right answer to the question is opt option a factor by recourse now before jumping into understanding what is factor by recourse let us understand what is the process of factoring see factoring is nothing but when a company sells its accounts receivables theek hai accounts receivables or the invoice to a third party ye kya kar raha hai company sell karti hai to a third party which is known as a factor 
and receive the payment and this factor collects the money from the debtor this is the process of factoring bahut simple hai so now factoring do tarike se hoti hai factoring by recourse theek hai and with non recourse so we'll see the statement says that the that type of factoring jahan pe jo factor hai the third party can collect back the amount paid by him to the seller in case of non payments of debt those are known as factoring by recourse let us understand in detail now let's say there is a party a which is the company which sold goods to company b theek hai now this uh, this company b tells him that okay i'll make you payment after 6 months ye invoice generate karti hai theek hai and now the company a is in immediate needs of funds so it has kya matlab hai ki usko apne short term liabilities ko meet karna hai to ab company a kya karegi ki now this company a will sell the invoice to a third party known as factor theek hai koi bhi ho sakta hai company ho gaye ya banks ho gaya ab ye factor jo hai what will the factor do is he'll not give you the whole amount of the bill he'll reduce some interest charges or commission and then pay you the amount and now the factor is responsible to collect the amount from the debtor and once the and once after 6 months in this case the factor receives the money from the debtor he reduces the interest payments and pays the balance back to the seller this is what factoring is so factoring is done using two methods first factoring with recourse recourse mein kya hota hai ki if the debtor fails to make the payment to the factor the factor can go back to the in uh, the issuer or the seller and he can take the money back which he gave to him and what the seller does now the now it is the responsibility of the seller to collect the money back from the debtor मतलब फैक्टर उस केस में आपसे पैसा वापस ले लेगा अगर डेटर आपको पेमेंट नहीं करता दो टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन आर नोन एज फैक्टरिंग बाय रिकोर्स व्हाट इज फैक्टरिंग यूजिंग नॉन रिकोर्स मेथड इट इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट इन केस द डेटर फेल्स टू मेक द पेमेंट द होल बर्डन और द होल लॉस इज टू बी टेकन अप बाई द फैक्टर सेलर का कोई लेना देना नहीं है उसको पैसा मिल गया था फैक्टर से इन केस ऑफ अ नॉन रिकोर्स कंडीशन इट इज द फैक्टर और द थर्ड पार्टी हु हैज टू बियर द लॉस इन केस ऑफ फेलियर ऑफ पेमेंट ठीक है now what is compounding and discounting compounding and discounting is used in time value of money compounding is nothing but the process of finding the future values of series of cash flows and discounting is finding the present value of these cash flows theek hai now let's move to the fourth question the fourth question talks about nbfc p2p that is peer to peer lending now what does the statement say which of the statement is false please read the statement carefully about peer to peer lending the first statement says that it can accept international deposits up to 5 crore second it shall maintain a leverage ratio not exceeding 2% the third statement says that they do not provide credit enhancement or credit guarantee third they cannot raise deposits and e all of the above the correct option uh, the correct answer to the question is option a please remember that nbfc p2p they cannot accept theek hai they cannot accept international funds so 5 crore 1 crore ka to koi sawal hi nahi hai so option a is wrong whereas they are supposed to maintain a leverage ratio of 2% not exceeding 2% so option b is correct now they are not allowed to provide credit enhancement or credit guarantee ठीक है दे जस्ट एक्ट दे आर दे कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी वन विद द क्रेडिट गारंटी दे आर जस्ट प्रेजेंट बिटवीन अ लेंडर एंड अ बोरोवर ठीक है 
likewise they cannot raise deposits so statement c and d is correct apart from this you should also remember that these nbfc p2p's they cannot show this amount they receive from the lender in their balance sheet theek hai ye is amount ko apne balance sheet pe entry nahi kar sakte theek hai so when did rbi take this nbfc p2p under their ambit in the year 2017 so let's move ahead and see the explanation it says that rbi took the preview of regulating p2p in the year 2007 please remember the dates they can be asked in the question the biggest restrictions on p2p are they cannot raise deposits they cannot lend on their own theek hai matlab wo paisa udhar pe nahi de sakte they can just facilitate the lending activity between two parties second they cannot provide guarantee agar ek banda kisi lender se paisa le raha hai to nbfc p2p cannot provide them with guarantee theek hai and as i said they are not shown in the balance sheet they cannot accept any international flow of funds and they need to maintain a leverage ratio not exceeding 2 now let's move to the fifth question the question says that an itc manufactures cigarettes in india every year it makes huge profit which of the following can be the external costs for itc sabse pehle samjho ki what is the question saying it simply asks what is the external cost which is borne by itc when it manufactures cigarettes in india external cost hota kya hai external cost is simply the negative effect ek negative cost ka kya hai when you are paying something it is a negative cost which is paid by a third party theek hai when a certain good is used or produced by someone theek hai to in this case we need to find the negative effect of third party when itc is manufacturing cigarettes the first option says buying tobacco from third party second advertisement cost the third option says health issues to non smokers the fourth option says welfare activities made by labors so the correct option to this question is answer, uh, answer c now health issue to non smokers when people start buying cigarettes manufactured by itc the people and they start smoking the people in their surroundings start developing various health issues so this is the negative effect which is borne by a third party matlab wo insaan jo smoke nahi kar raha tha theek hai not smoking he has to bear the cost by किसका कॉस्ट बियर कर रहा है ऑफ अ पर्सन हु इज यूजिंग सिगरेट सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ बाइंग टोबैको एडवर्टाइजमेंट कॉस्ट एंड वेलफेयर एक्टिविटीज ऑल दीज कॉस्ट आर एसोसिएटेड दैट इज ऑप्शन ए सी एंड डी ये जो तीनों कॉस्ट है ये तीन किससे एसोसिएटेड है इट इज एसोसिएटेड टू द प्रोड्यूसर का वो अपना कॉस्ट है ITC ये कॉस्ट को खुद बेर करिए इट इज नॉट अ थर्ड पार्टी कॉस्ट एंड इट इज नॉट क्लासिफाइड एज अ एक्सटर्नल कॉस्ट समझ आया नाउ यू कैन सी देर कैन बी टू टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट वन इज एक्सटर्नल ठीक है एंड वन इज इंटरनल लाइक वाइज वी ऑल्सो हैव बेनिफिट्स विच आर इंटरनल एंड वन एक्सटर्नल and there is a concept known as social cost which is the summation of internal cost plus external cost likewise we have social benefit which is a summation of theek hai social benefit or which is the summation of internal plus external benefits theek hai let us understand what is external cost as i said you it is the negative effect on third party due to the consumption and production activity of others itc ka cigarettes koi aur use kar raha tha but health ka nuksan kisko hua kisi third party ko so that becomes an external cost ab external cost ki tarah what is an external benefit jab third party ko ek positive effect hota hai because of the consumption and production activity 
what is a private cost private cost are the cost which are borne directly by the people who are involved in the decision of producing jaise pichle case mein the buying tobacco from third party ye uska apna प्राइवेट कॉस्ट है किसका आईटीसी का प्राइवेट बेनिफिट क्या हो जाएगा आईटीसी का कि द प्रॉफिट विच आईटीसी इज मेकिंग ठीक है द प्राइवेट बेनिफिट्स आर दोज बेनिफिट्स विच आर रिसीव डायरेक्टली टू द पीपल इन्वॉल्व इन द कंजम्पन एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट तो आईटीसी को प्रॉफिट मिल रहा है तो दैट बिकम्स अ प्राइवेट बेनिफिट सोशल कॉस्ट एज आई सेड यू इज द समेशन ऑफ द internal cost and external cost and it is nothing but the total cost of an economic activity to the society to ek activity ka wholesome ek society pe kya effect pad raha hai is the social cost and social benefit is same the total benefit which the society would be receiving theek hai when an activity is concluded theek hai aur koi bhi activity ka there always is a एक्सटर्नल एंड प्राइवेट बेनिफिट्स इंक्लूड होगा एज आई सेड यू समेशन है एंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर जो सोशल कॉस्ट कैन बी पॉजिटिव एंड कैन बी नेगेटिव ठीक है आई होप यू लाइक द सेशन थैंक यू